Dear friends, today's painful story is about a woman who kept all the secrets of her life hidden from her husband, due to which she died in her youth. What was the real truth of that woman? Let us know in today's video. This woman's husband says that it is true that my wife died just two days after our marriage, and I was about to bury her. Some black-colored cats started roaming around my wife's grave. I thought that these cats must be living here. If I went to my wife's grave every day, the same cats would be sitting on my wife's grave and crying. After seeing me, they would start removing soil from the grave. I called the Molvi Sahib. Molvi Sahib ordered to open the grave. When I dug her grave, my heart burst. My wife was sitting wearing a veil. Before going to my room, my cousin, who used to live in our house since childhood because his parents already passed away, stopped me and said, Brother, I know you are very happy because you are married to a noble woman. But do not forget that your wife has been like you. Some or the other must have happened in his marriage because you are the one. You say that a man gets the same as a woman is. I said that this is true, but I was not concerned with this matter. I have repented from my Allah. If she had also been a sinner, then she too would have repented my words. My cousin laughed after hearing this. How do you know whether she's made a firm decision or I have made a mistake? I told my cousin, don't get into trouble with me and I believe in Allah Almighty and I hope that my wife will be pure. He said, okay brother, you go right now, you are very happy. At this moment, only your wife is on your mind, but the real reality is only I know. I said, okay, I don't need your useless argument and I moved ahead. After professing her love, I had won her heart, but early in the morning there was a knock on the door. When I opened the door, there was no one there. A door can't be knocked by itself. After all, it is a human being's job to knock on the door of the room by oneself. I was very surprised to see this. When I told this to my wife, she was shocked too, but different types of emotions seemed on her face, as if she was very upset. Then she said that someone must have rang the door, maybe someone has played a prank on us. I had no idea who had done this. I was fascinated by my wife's character. Meanwhile, at that moment, my mother came and said to me, Son, there is a problem which is only you can solve. I got worried after hearing what could be the problem. Amma said that all the food from the house has been stolen. Not even a single food is left. There is nothing to eat. Your wife's steps are not good. I don't know who is eating all the food from our kitchen. The foods were taken away, which seems that someone has stolen it. I felt strange after listening to Amma. I said Amma who steals food these days. After listening to me, Amma said to me, don't give lectures too much. I know that all of this happened just because of your wife. Now go and bring all the groceries and I have to prepare breakfast also. As soon as I came near the house, I heard a scream coming from the house. I was very worried that these screams sounded like a woman, as if my wife was screaming. I quickly went out of the house. I rang the door, but no one opened the door. I started feeling very uneasy at the door. I started kicking loudly, but no one opened the door from inside the house. Then I called Amma and also called my cousin, but no one even answered my call. Then suddenly Amma opened the door and I attacked her. Why was Amma not opening the door? You don't know how long I have been standing outside. It was you who had sent me to get food and whose voices were coming from inside. Have you guys said anything to my wife Shazia? No son. What do we have to say to your wife? I was in the washroom. That's why I got late. Saying this, she went inside, but she was not able to make eye contact with me. It seemed as if she was not interested in me and hiding the matter. Then I immediately came to my room. I saw my wife was also sitting in a completely relaxed manner. I asked my wife what happened. She said no problem, nothing happened here. I said that when I was standing outside at the door, I was knocking on the door. Why didn't you open the door? She said that I have made a mistake. Next time I will open the door. Okay. You tell me whose voice was coming from here and who was screaming here. My wife got scared and said, I don't know anything. I said at least you can tell me whose voices were coming from here, and I know very well that these sounds were coming from inside our house. You might have felt like this, but it is nothing. I was surprised hearing my wife's words. I wanted to, but as soon as I got up and started opening the door of the room, I saw the door was locked outside. I was very surprised to know who had closed the door. I started hitting the door with my fists, but no one opened the door. I phone called my cousin and said open the door of my room. He came and opened the door and told me that the door was already open brother. I think you have lost your mind. I was feeling bad at that time that my cousin had also become conceited. 
I immediately went to the kitchen and saw that my wife was preparing breakfast comfortably. I vented out all my anger on my cousin because the door was closed. Hearing my words, my cousin laughed and he said, Brother, I thought you were intelligent. I thought that you would understand everything by yourself, but it seems like that you need to be explained everything clearly. I started saying, what do you mean? I have already lost my mind. When I told my cousin, he sympathized and placed his hand on my shoulder and said, Brother, after a few days you will get to know the reality of your wife. After saying this, he left. After some time, my wife was not in the room. I searched for her everywhere. Suddenly I saw that she was leaving my cousin's room. Seeing her like this made me very suspicious and also felt bad. She was a bride for one day, and she should not have gone to my cousin's room. I asked her why she had gone to my cousin's room. She got nervous at first, but then she started looking away and said I had gone there to clean. I said, why did you feel the need to clean so early in the morning and how did you know how many rooms are there in this house? Hearing this, my wife started said, if I can cook breakfast on the first day here, then why can't I clean the house? Then I started cleaning myself. I thought my wife felt very bad when my mother told my wife that she will prepare breakfast herself. Then I tried to change the topic, but after that my wife made faces at me. I also tried to talk, however she didn't talk with me. Even she did not talk to me the whole day. The evening also passed but my wife's face was not straight. There were tears in her eyes. As soon as we had dinner, I got angry. I asked my wife, for what reason did you make faces? She said, I can't live in this house anymore. For God's sake, leave me at my home. Don't make me stay at this home. I said, what do you mean? I asked shockingly. She said, I can't stay at this home anymore. Get me a new house or leave me at my parents' home. I said to my wife, pack your luggage. I will drop you to your mom and dad's home. She started looking at me with surprise. Then she also packed her luggage. I kept her luggage in my car and dropped her to her mom and dad's house. I told her father that my wife wants to stay with you all for a few days as she was remembering you guys. I did not tell him anything about the fight between me and my wife. I just left my wife there and came home. As soon as I came home, my cousin took me by the hand and started saying, what did you need to leave your wife at her parents' house by advice of your wife? People do this but keeping their wife under their control, but you don't even know how to control your wife. Tomorrow, when people come to know that you left her at her parents' house the very next day, what will people say? Don't you know that a man who follows his wife's advice is called a dancing monkey? You are also strange, brother. I did not expect this from you. Saying this, my cousin went to his room. I came to my room but after some time my brother said something which made me suspicious. We all were having dinner when Amma asked, where has your wife gone? Even before I could speak, my cousin said a strange thing and said, Auntie, do you remember the marriage of my friend Wakar who was married three years ago? Amma said, yes, but why are you mentioning him today? He continued, his wife is also like this. She used to go to her maternal home again and again. After reaching there, it was found out that she used to meet her old lover. When the girls insist on going to her maternal house again and again, then her husband should understand that there is definitely something wrong. Otherwise, no girl leaves her husband's house and goes to her in-law's house without any reason. Brother, I think your wife is also having an affair in her maternal house. Otherwise, she would not go to her parents' house immediately on the pretext of a small matter. Then my cousin started laughing and said, Your wife has come back some time ago and you don't even know. Look, she didn't even dare to tell anyone. I was surprised to hear that. If she had come, then why did she ignore me? And I was also at home but I was in my mother's room. Maybe she must have gone to her room. I immediately went to my room, and the scene in front of me was heart-wrenching. I saw my wife lying face down with a paper in it. While she was lying down, her complexion had turned blue and she did not seem to be conscious. I laid beside her and removed it and straightened it but I was surprised to see that her soul had left this world. My wife was dead. My mind got a big shock, and when I started reading the paper kept near it, the ground beneath my feet, well, it just vanished. Whatever she had written in the letter was enough to blow the senses of any person. It was written that, I apologize to my husband. I am leaving this world because I am ashamed of myself. 
My character is not such that I can make eye contact with my husband. He loves me. But before marriage, I had dated many men. I had a relationship with a man and I feel unworthy for my husband. That's why I am going to end my life today. After reading this, I felt as if the ground had gone out from under my feet. I had tears in my eyes and I felt bad for her betrayal, and her death felt even worse. Then this news spread to the entire village. It spread like wildfire and all the family members gathered at my wife's parents' house. When the people came to know about this letter, they were also surprised and said that this is all a lie. Our daughter was a pure lady. We will get the matter revealed about our daughter because this cannot happen. Our daughter was very good. She didn't even look away at any men, and this letter also cannot be hers. To bury my wife, I took her to the graveyard. My in-laws were very angry. They were not even talking to me. It seemed that they were suspecting me of their daughter's death and I was being doubted for her death. They were holding me responsible, although I had received this letter through her but they did not believe anything I said. I also became quiet. I did not want to put myself in this trouble in any way, so I took influence from something else. Then a reality was revealed which made me realize the reality of the relationship which got it done, and that was such an incident which was a complete coincidence. While burying my wife, two grey cats were roaming around my wife's grave. I thought these cats must be living in the graveyard, that is why they have come here in the evening. When everyone went to their homes, I went to her grave to pray. I don't know why this whole thing seemed like a lie. I felt that there was definitely some reason behind her suicide. Coincidentally, both those cats were near my wife's grave and were sitting there crying and at one point I got scared of those cats. When I got up and started coming back, those cats started removing the soil from my wife's grave. They started removing the mud with their paws. I became scared. Those two cats were roaming around the grave. This surprised me a lot. I thought that I should tell this to some religious person or an Huzur person. There may be some other reason behind it. So I immediately met the Imam of the mosque and told him that. He prayed on the grave and then sat there for some time, but those cats were still roaming around the grave. Mulvi Sahib said it should be opened. My friends were also with me. We all were scared, but Gorak gathered courage and opened my wife's grave. I saw that my wife's hands and legs were moving and her face seemed like she was breathing. Seeing this, I took my wife out from there. We took her to the hospital, but the surprising thing was that both the cats had now disappeared from there. I saw that they were getting out of the grave. The hospital people told me that your wife was in a deep coma. The coma may last for a week or a month, but you pray. Your wife has become a victim of extreme suffocation and fear. I sat down and started praying for my wife's life, because now I wanted to know the truth exactly after 15 days. My wife regained consciousness, but on the same day my cousin ran away from home. Perhaps he understood and he thought that my wife would tell me the whole truth, and this actually happened. After regaining consciousness, my wife blurted out that my cousin had threatened me on the very first day, seeing her alone in the room. He used to try to do wrong things with her, which my wife used to make noises about, but was afraid to tell me that. My cousin knew my wife before my marriage. My wife studied with him in college, and he used to harass her in the college also. My cousin knew that my wife was a simple girl who was afraid of men, and that's why my cousin took advantage of this fact, and after marriage he also kept harassing her continuously. After marriage he still used to harass her, and when my wife came to that house, he killed my wife, but it is said that whoever is kept by Allah can't be killed, and when Allah Tabaraktala wants to save someone, then even the whole world together cannot harm him. My wife said that when she went home that day, she had come back on her own in the evening because she missed me. But seeing her alone in the room, my cousin went into the room and started misbehaving with her. My wife slapped him in anger, and in return he hit my wife on her head with a stick, which did not break my wife's head but she went into coma and we felt that she is dead. My cousin wrote that false letter and kept it near my wife so that no one could doubt. No, this matter ended till now but I did not understand that thing about cats. When I mentioned those cats in front of my wife, my wife started saying that these two cats were her pet cats, which she kept in her house before marriage. She had taken care of them, until now both of them were living in the same house. My wife took care of them, did a lot of service to the cats, fostered them, and grew them young, and both of those cats became very loyal to my wife and her family. 
I was very surprised that how Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala had saved my wife's life through those two cats. I prostrated Sijda at that very moment. He is one who is the master of the entire universe and can do whatever he wants. My wife is fine now, but my cousin had absconded from home because it was a police case. He had tried to kill my wife. Today one year has passed since this. My cousin was caught. Now he is in jail. He is serving his sentence and I am living a happy life with my mother and wife. This is the story. We learn this lesson from this that we should educate our daughters in such a way that they can warn on their own or tell her husband about all the things if someone is harassing her or taking unfair advantage of her simplicity. If you like the video, please like and share this video so that you can get more such videos. Please become a part of our family by subscribing to our channel.